Well, we've talked about the life of the ponderosa pine tree and its requirements. We also need to talk about what happens when a ponderosa is not able to take advantage of its environment successfully. Here we have a tree that lost its race for the sun. This one was probably about 20 years old, maybe a little older, when it no longer could uh, collect enough sunlight to survive. It doesn't mean that its job is done. In this case, a deadfall lying on the ground, it's entered a new stage, and its job at this point is to begin that long, slow process of breaking down, of decaying, of recycling, adding all of those nutrients back over time. Every place I look, I see bits of other pine trees. I'm looking and I'm thinking, oh man, this is a limb off of this big pine tree here. The tree has pruned itself of this limb and many others because they can no longer reach the sunlight with the needles that used to be on them. And so they drop and they start to decay. And I'm looking here and we have all these decaying pine needles. And the one thing that the needles do is they turn the soil slightly acidic, which obviously Ponderosa pine doesn't seem to mind at all. That acidic soil keeps other types of plants from growing, from taking up this resource space around the pine. Now there are some that take advantage of it. We have a little plant here that doesn't mind acidic soil either. But there's a lot of plants that we don't see here. So everything that the pine tree deposits affects what types of organisms are going to be able to live on the forest floor in between the pines. And one thing it certainly does is it creates conditions that will ensure that newer generations of ponderosa pine will thrive in by this slight change in soil chemistry.